So as Christoph said, over the last 20 years, we saw some digital transformation in healthcare. But over the last two years, the advancements in healthcare from a digital perspe perspective have been absolutely astounding. Telehealth by physicians jumped from 25 to 80 percent. Remote patient monitoring by physicians up 2x. Healthcare professionals are using video conferencing 2x more. I think each of you can probably reflect, reflect that you've engaged with your doctor in a different way over the last two years. And that's here to stay. We're not going backwards. And that's just a few of the trends. Tomorrow, our CTO, Greg Lavender, will talk about AI technology that's finding brain tumors and driving better patient outcomes. Technology is at the forefront of healthcare, and it's here to stay. And hopefully, we see this pace of innovation continue forward. And no one knows this transformation like the enterprise solution architect from Intermountain Healthcare, Rob Summers. Rob, please join me on stage. Welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the privilege. For those of you who don't know Intermountain Healthcare, they've been a leader in digital transformation, and they were already on this digital journey and leading it. But the pandemic made you have to go even faster. So maybe can you talk a little bit about how vPro Technologies helped with that transition? Love to. Thank you. Um, it's great to be part of this and, and truly an in-person event again after the pandemic. This is, this is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And thanks for the opportunity to share our story. So, and, and yeah, thanks for calling out and acknowledging that uh, we have been, a, Intermountain Healthcare has been a leader in the telehealth space. We've been a pioneer there for um, over eight years, really. And uh, the pandemic, so we were a little bit ahead of the curve in that regard. However, um, we had our own in-house developed telehealth platform. It was built on Microsoft Skype for business. Um, and many of you know, are aware that uh, Microsoft announced the plans to sunset that product. That kind of forced our hand a little bit into partnering with another telehealth provider, the build versus buy um, uh, strategy and whatnot. We decided to partner up. And this was just prior to the pandemic that we were to begin implementing this new telehealth platform. So even though we had those years of experience and we were grateful that we did, we uh, ended up migrating over to a new telehealth platform at that same time. Now, telecritical, er or, uh, telecritical areas, areas as well as uh, um, clinical uh, critical areas, ICUs, med surge units, things like that that were over capacity, um, really uh, just kind of added insult to injury in terms of, uh, of that migration. Now, our new telehealth platform at the endpoint required us converting all our endpoints, 1,500 in our fleet, and those are spread across 23 different hospitals, um, many of them remote, rural hospitals as well, um, introduced a, 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 a problem, if you will, and uh, we uh, um, realized that, you know, as part of this new telehealth platform, we had to convert those 1,500 endpoints over to a Linux-based um, kernel. So um, I reached out to our Intel account team, and uh, in short order, we had a POC stood up, um, did our necessary cybersecurity reviews and such, and uh, the POC was a flying success, and, and we knew how we were going to do this to, to convert. Um, now imagine, you know, sending in a technician in PPE gear into a patient room, one of those uh, ICU rooms, um, to, to touch equipment. With vPro, we didn't have to do any of that. We could do the uh, conversion remotely, um, and, and it worked very, very well, I'm happy to say. That's absolutely incredible, and it was so important because people needed better access to healthcare. We needed to be able to do that remote monitoring because we know there was a global so shortage of PPE, and so using it to switch out hardware is probably not the best absolutely. usage. Absolutely. Yep. Um, so there may be others in the audience today and online who had to go through a similar journey and transformation. What advice would you have for them? Um, stay. Uh, Partner up with Intel if you're not already. I mean, you're, the fact that you're here <laughs> says you're probably already a partner. On that note, on that note, I, and I, I, I hesitate to bring it up in this setting because I don't want to get our account and technical team into, into hot water, but uh, when I reached out to them, you know, I've been in the industry a lot of years, and uh, <laughs> I was expecting a, a statement of work 
consulting services engagement, things of that nature. I'll tell you, our account team stepped up every step of the way because it was the right thing to do. And we had this, this uh, pilot, if you will, stood up within five hours, lapse time. Um, it was phenomenal, you know, and, and uh, we were able to, to, to configure the scripts, push them out, ironically, through, uh, through other device management tools, and then, you know, get them enrolled into uh, vPro and whatnot, and then uh, flip the switch to get those converted over. And it was, it was flawless. It was perfect. The only time, incidentally, that we had to enter in a patient room was uh, when there was a hardware failure. That was it. We were able to do everything else through bare metal management um, that vPro provided. That's fantastic. And when we think about the 41,000 physicians in Intermountain Health, the 23 hospitals, to be able to do that, get it up and running in five hours, I think really shows the partnership. And what we Agreed. hope as your partner is the way we show up every day. So thanks for coming, Rob. Thank you. Right. Appreciate thanks, it, Michelle. Rob. Thanks so much. I think you can all agree the work that Rob and his team at Intermountain Healthcare are doing is absolutely amazing. And it was all powered by the vPro platform, powered by our 12th generation Intel Core processor. And our 12th generation Core processor delivers our most scalable platform, offering you price point and performance that will enable your own transformations. So today, I'm very excited to announce the launch of our 12th generation Intel Core HX Mobile Workstation Processor. It's a beauty. It's our final product in our 12th generation family. It's created for the professional who needs maximum performance and flexibility. It offers up to 16 cores of performance and up to five gigahertz speeds delivering unrivaled performance. I invite all of you to learn more about this amazing product, vPro, and other amazing things happening in the client group at our Modern Client Biz Computing Insight right after the keynote. Thank you. All right.